Good morning, everybody. Stats no Stats Longer here, guys. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd. So happy New Year to everyone. Hopefully you guys all had a safe New Year's. I did, just hung out at home. My fiance didn't do much. But today is first week of the year. And like I said, guys, we're gonna be taking down Christmas lights today. So we got, uh, I think I'm gonna be taking down five houses today. I'm solo by myself because doesn't don't really need much help when taking down lights because it's literally just pulling them off the roof rolling them up and marking where they go so we are taking down this house so we got lights all the way on all the gutters and the roof lines we got lights on that arbor vitae on that japanese maple those two little potted plants on the porch have some lights then we got that japanese maple and then that other last arbor vitae and those are the all the lights here so it should be uh shouldn't take me too long probably be done in about 45 minutes to an hour hopefully um but what I do, how I mark where everything goes, is so I'll pull everything out off the gutters and then I'll roll it up and then I will, uh, I got masking tape and a Sharpie. And I just write on the masking tape with the Sharpie, of course, where it came from. So let's uh, go waste some time and get to it. So I'm sure some of you are asking, Stay, how do you get the lights down without getting on the roof? Well, the answer is right here. So let me uh, pull this thing out real quick. So this would be the Mr. Long Arm. It extends to like 36 feet, I think. Let's see. Okay, 23 feet right there. But it's got a little hook on it for meant for lights. So this is how we unwrap houses, unwrap trees that are tall up so we don't have these ladders and whatnot. So uh, the one thing I like to do when I come by is test everything to make sure everything works because uh, I'd rather test it now and know for next year what warranties I'm gonna need to do. Cause this house is warrantied. This is only the second year uh, that we put up lights and we do offer a five year warranty. So let me come to the timer over here and turn it. You guys see, we just use click easy timers, turn it on. Okay, so these, these three are working in this Japanese maple. That's working. That's working. This Japanese maple, all three of those are working. And then, oh yeah, I forgot the walkways hooked up to this also. Looks like all the walkways working. And then you see the blue on that Arbor Vita right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's blue on this one. And it looks like all those strands work. So, all right, that's good. Good to know. And uh, so I say first I'm gonna probably unwrap these trees and then I'll worry about the house. So let's get to it. All right, so we got everything, all the trees unwrapped, everything but the roof is done. So got all our G12s right there and the connection to the, to everything hooks everything up right there. All the lights run off of that, but this is probably gonna take me 10 minutes to pull these off because literally once I start, they just all start coming right off as I pull them. So it'll be really easy. I might have to get a ladder to unhook it because you can see it's uh, hooked up in the eave right there plugged in so i might be able to get that with my uh, pole extension pole but either way let's get 
this house delighted. All right, so you guys saw I actually had to get up on the roof because there were a couple plugins that were uh, not cooperating with me, but it's all good. We got it done, got all the lights down. Now I'm just gonna wrap up from there to the garage because I rolled up that side. Just gotta roll that up. So let's get that done and we're gonna head out of here. Right, guys everything's tucked away in this one box and i always put that on it just so they have my info in case they move or whatever the case may be but we are uh, done here i just gonna pick up the ladder and we're heading to the next one so catch you guys there all right guys so i did this little small house took me about 20 minutes um now we are at another little small house we mow this one we put that tree in last year doing good but i think i'm just gonna go on the roof for this one it'll just be much easier and uh, it's not that steep so I'm gonna start over here and let's get to it. All right guys, all the lights down, all the clips down. It took about 12 minutes. Real easy on these small houses, but everything's in the bucket, ready for next year. So, I've uh, got two more to do, and they're both small like this. Next one, I'll record, and the last one I won't record, because they don't like me recording at their house. So, we'll catch you guys at the next one. All right, guys, so as promised, we are at the next one, and like I said, it's just another one of these small houses, real easy to, Real easy to pull down and on this one I actually use a new style of clips this year on new installs so uh, taking down will be easier you see how the clip completely surrounds the bulb I'll show you whenever I pull them down but that way we're not losing any uh, bulbs in the pro any clips in the process and uh, we don't have to get up there and get anything that's stuck so I think I am gonna get on the roof on this one I know I said that last time but I'm just going to here because it'll be a lot easier so take you guys with me let's get to it All right, guys, we are heading up to the roof. By the way, these ladder stabilizers, quick link, lifesaver. Save the scratch and gutters, give it stabilization. Freaking awesome, but let me get up here real quick. So, we're up here. Anyone curious, I do wear cougar paws on the roof. You can see they got a little foam pad on the bottom, so good grip. But uh, yeah, all we have is this little peak to take off. And then we are done. So let's get that rocking and rolling. On you get that clip off down there too. I got all these down. Let me show you what I was talking about these clips. You see how they uh, go around the bulb? And they're pretty sturdy, so they're not gonna fall off when you're uh, pulling them down. So big plus, that's for sure. But Looks like we're down up here. Got to get that last gutter off. So let's go do that. All right guys, so you can see we got all these lights down. 
a little windy, so pardon the wind, but got everything done. And uh, guess we're gonna head out of here to the next one. Look at this cool view behind me, man. See the whole whole city, man. Not much, but houses behind me. But anyway, um, like I said, this next one is gonna be one that they don't like me to record at their house, so we're just not gonna record there. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys back at the shop. Should, I mean, this house took me about 20 minutes. That one should take me about the same. It's about the same size, so we'll uh, kind of regroup back at the shop, tell you how it went. Well, I'm actually getting done a lot quicker than I thought today, because right now it's only like 11.30. Got one left. I thought I'd be out until like four or five at least, but I always forget how easy it is to uh, just yank these lights down, man. But pretty cool view from up here, man. Pretty cool view. So there's a truck. Got a couple bins. Actually, one of those bins is for this house, because this was a new install, but... I say let's get done here. We'll see you guys back at the shop, man. We did just finish up the last one, but I decided to come to my parents' house because I want to get some stuff done here because there's quite a bit. So this Oklahoma Redbud tree, those two Arbor Vitae's, and then that Oklahoma Redbud all have lights. And that Redbud, there's Redbud, has, you know, each strand or each uh, branch wrap. So it looks really cool at night. I'll put a picture on screen but these are kind of a headache to take off. So I wanna go ahead and get, probably get the trees out of the way and then maybe come back another day and do the actual house, but definitely gonna get the trees uh, all unwrapped and everything because very time consuming because I think each tree has six strands on it, six strands total of 30 foot a strand. So uh, yeah, each tree has quite a bit. So I'm just gonna get right into it, man. Set you guys up and uh, let's unwrap these trees. So this one took about 15 minutes. Not too bad, I need to roll these up still, but I guess I'll go take off the far one next and then the two RV days, so let's get it done.
I got all the trees done, everything unplugged, all lights wrapped up in a box. Now I'm gonna, I'm already here, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, just do the house real quick. I won't need a ladder. I'll just be yanking all the lights off. Hopefully I won't need a ladder. We'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna start down there, work our way up, so let's get it done. Okay, you guys saw we are all done here, man. Got all the lights down. Just decided to go ahead and do the house, and I'm glad I did, because now we are done over here. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, it's three o'clock now, so this took me about an extra hour over here, but glad to be done. I've got quite a bit more to get done the rest of this week, so I'll probably record a few more days. Um, we'll see how it goes, but it's supposed to get really cold next week, so I'm trying to uh, get all these finished this week, fingers crossed. And uh, so I don't have to be out in that freezing. I don't want to be out in that stuff. So I'm really hoping I can get done this week. And I think I can. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a lot of the bigger houses. So I might record those. Either way, you guys saw some today. Um, you guys saw how I do it. Don't really have to get on very many roofs. Some, some of them make it easier, like the smaller houses. But stuff like this, I'm not getting on that roof. I mean, look how steep that is, man. That's like straight up and down. So um, that's, that's about it, guys. It was pretty dangerous being on that first house you guys saw. I'm sure the thumbnail, I'm gonna make it, but I was on top of that roof and it's pretty sketchy up there. I mean, that's a good 20, 25 feet, feet up, maybe even 30 and it's straight concrete below. So it can definitely get sketchy, but you know, someone's gotta do it and I love doing this. Christmas lights is my favorite time of year. It's my favorite thing to do. My favorite service that I offer. Um, yeah, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys all had a great new year and we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.